Candlepin Challenge, produced by C8 and the International Candlepin Bowling Association. Hi again, everybody, and welcome back inside the Woburn Bowler Drome. John Holt with Dan Murphy. Our adult bowlers take a four-week break. We bring back the youth challenge. That means Dave Godwin, our youth champ, is back. But today, some pretty good challengers, too, and Mike Sweeney and John Starner. That's right. John's from uh, Haverhill, Massachusetts, carries 115 average, and, and Mike is from uh, Salisbury, Mass, with 110 average. So two uh, pretty good opponents. And they'll have to bowl well to beat Dave. He has been terrific. We're going to take a look at the run he's had. He's won four times on the show as you look at the uh, competitors, competitors that he has knocked off so far. He has been a real good then. Absolutely. And he's averaged over 130 uh, each appearance. So it's been absolutely terrific. He uh, joins us now. Uh, what type of level of celebrity have you gained since this? You were on TV. You were really dominant. To have people kind of recognize you as you bowl? Yeah, a lot, <clears throat> a lot of people recognize me. You know, everywhere I go, I say, nice bowling, Dave, you know, on TV, so it's been cool. Well, hopefully you can keep it up again today. Good luck. All right, I'll try. We're back with the Challengers match right after this on CNA. <laughs> Week one of four weeks of the Youth Challenge, and we're all set to take a look at the Challengers match. John Starner to go against Mike Sweeney, a one-game match, and the winner advances to take on David Godwin, who is back with us, our reigning champ. Good to have the youth bowlers back. It was a big hit when we did it the first time this season. Back again for a four-week run. John starts by a dropping seven. Using lanes 35 and 36, same format, same lane, same place as the adults. It's just the uh, youth all-stars, so to speak, take over. 3, 5, and 10 for John. Playing the wood out in front and leaves the 10. No prize money awarded to the youth bowlers, but uh, there are some nice trophies and uh, jackets that will be awarded. It's a nine box for uh, John to open with. We will, though, have our candle pin strike challenge uh, audience participation segment as the uh, jackpot grows to $675. That's between games one and two of our championship match. So you're going to have the four horsemen to the right. One, two, six, uh, one, three, six, and ten. Piece of wood in between. Always worries me when the piece of wood is in between because that headpin's going to go right to the straight to the right side wall. Missed the headpin to the left and used the wood, almost converted it. But two open frames. That is a 10 box. So 9 and a 10, 19 for John. And Dan, you mentioned it at the start that David Godwin was averaging over 130 a game in his run. So that's the number these guys may want to think about if they have any thoughts of uh, knocking off, realistic thoughts of knocking off the champ. Mike Sweeney now. Misses the head pin, but geez, he got a good break, leaving just the one and the eight. Looking for our first mark. Gets the one. Some wood rolling towards the eight, but it stays up. Make it a 10 box and a one pin advantage after one frame from Mike Sweeney. Now, we did carry over uh, Dave Godwin from the previous four weeks of the youth bowls, but this time we, the, whoever wins the last week of this four weeks that we will not carry over um, to next year, they'll start fresh. Drop of seven. And our first Earl sighting of the day. Earl Smith on the scene to help with some of the wood. the goatee. It's a new look. <laughs> and, and did, I don't think you saw it off camera. We got a high five from John Starter. <laughs> it's one eight and nine left for Mike Sweeney and he misses it to the right. 
needs a couple of these to tie it up. And he does, just that. All even 19 apiece. Bob Wickham is our reigning adult champ. He will be back in four weeks' time to continue his quest as the champ. I take, I take that back. I made a mistake. Jeff Surrett is the, the reigning champ. Oh, Good-looking ball right in the 1-2 pocket, but he leaves himself the 5, 9, and 10. A piece of wood in front of the 10 probably won't give him much help. Probably want to try to cut the 5-pin on the left and hopefully into the 9 and then possibly the 10. Nine, ten, and another nine for 28. Still looking for our first mark. John seems very cool up there. Very composed for a young bowler. Off target that time. Drops four. Pair of nines, though, 37 after four. Who will be the first to mark and grab that momentum? Chance now for Mike Sweeney, with the uh, distinctive headband. Coming in with the 110 average. Leaves the one, two, and the 10. Gets the two and the ten, leaves the head pin, but he can grab the lead by a pin if he can knock down the head pin. Still knotted at 28 now after three boxes completed. Mentioned that uh, correctly, Jeff Surrett is the uh, reigning adult champ. He, of course, also our two time overall champ. Visions of getting to our final show again this season. Drop of six. The three in the back along with the head pin. It's the head pin, the seven, eight, and ten. A couple pieces of wood that could help him. Got to catch the head pin, though. These guys open through four. Dead even, 37-37. The winner to get David Godwin in that two-game championship match. Four horsemen left, plus the nine and the ten. No playable wood to help him out. Two in the back row remain. Gets them both. So his second 10 box to go with three nines. John Starner up to 47. Takes out five. He's the two, three, four, six, seven. Couple more. 
could come down to that all important third ball each frame. No one's got a mark yet. Got a pin well. It's all been nines and tens for both bowlers. Not a lot of pins left out, but still yet without a mark. See if Mike Sweeney can do it. 